happy camper here in the South Island of New Zealand. It doesn't get much better than this. Well, here we are at Lake Waihola in the South Island of New Zealand and uh, haven't been here for a number of years now. There is a caravan park over there as you drive in. Uh, and then there's a lot of public access when you get through this gate here. It's a tidal lake actually, this one. It is, uh, it is slightly brackish. But the redfin uh, perch thrive in here in most years anyway so uh, so the the height of the lake can rise and fall a little bit depending on the tides and the stomach contents of the fish can surprise they've probably got a diet that's similar to an estuary type fish like a um, a whiting or a brim or something like that so anyway we'll continue on down the track here and uh, there's a bit of a jetty that has been set up a number of years ago for uh, access because it's a very shallow lake it's not very deep at all so it uh, chops up pretty easy it gets pretty windy here sometimes it's hard to uh, pick a, a, a good day to be fishing at Waihola but I can tell you when the redfin are on here um, spectacular fun so hopefully today is one of those days I'm just going to be using uh, leadhead jigs and some soft plastics and see what happens from there. So here we are at Lake Waihola. This is the uh, public jetty that has been set up for fishermen and anyone else really to use. Over this side is a uh, safe harbour and boat ramp for boaties to use. Fantastic setup here. They can uh, launch this there into this little harbour area here. So there's your boat ramp there. Little safe harbour here to moor your boat on. And then, once you're ready to get underway, you just head out through that little opening there and you're into the main lake and you're away. So fabulous facilities here at uh, Lake Waihola. Well done to whoever has put this together. Love this place. This is one of my favourite fishing destinations. And as for the humble English perch, or redfin as we call it here in Australia, uh, wonderful facility. As you can see, they built a uh, really good purpose-built jetty here for people to use and clean your fish here. It was put together in 2008 and has been here ever since. As we all know with redfin, if they're schooled up and they're around, they're going to let you know that they're here. So uh, I'm just going to keep fan casting until something arrives. Fair bit of weed growth in this lake. It's quite shallow as I said before. And uh, there's a lot of weed and that's what you're up against. But with weed comes fish species so it's all relative might be a bit of a pain in the ass to clean off your lure every now and then but if it turns into fish it's well and truly worth it all right let's see what happens rocky points often good for redfin as we know back home in lake hume that is what happens as well Just depends whether you uh, can latch onto a school or not, really. So we're getting that out there with the wind. Cover as much water as we possibly can. And we'll see what happens. Yep, fish on. Haha, <laughs> we've finally got one. Oh no, <laughs> it dropped. Yeah, now we're on, now we're on. Now we're on, fish on this time. Let's at least land it and see what it looks like, eh? So there we go. 
start. My first New Zealand perch. Slipping back in and away he goes. Success! Yep, another one. Oh, this is a better fish. This is a much better fish. Good head shakes. It's what we came for. This is definitely what we came for. Oh, yeah, now we're cooking. This one I might keep because uh, we'll get a good couple of fillets out of that one. Righty-o. Okay, so there we go. That's a red fin of around about 30 centimetres. Lovely fish. Now, look, I don't think I will keep any today. I'm going to have plenty of opportunity to come back and get into them again, so I might just put them back for today. This is what I came here for. Schooled up redfin. Fisher cars, that's what you often get here at Waihola if you can find them. And this looks like it's a, a like for like uh, school. Here comes another one. Fisher cast at the moment. There we go, there's another one. And hasn't quite got one, and that one has. Ooh, this is a good fish. This is a very good red fin. Very good red fin indeed. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Good. All right, folks. That is not a bad fish. That would probably be about 35, 36 centimeters, I would think. This, isn't it? So you can go back to straight on again. Oh my god! This is uh, dream redfin fishing, and no EHN virus in sight as well. Oh, sorry, mate. Hopefully. You get back where you're meant, meant to be. <laughs> Every single cast is a fish at the moment. Now they're not giants, but one of them was definitely. Look, these are all good filletable reddies, these things. Every single one of them you would get a fillet off. Every single one. No problem whatsoever. We'll try around the corner a bit. There we go. So they're pretty widespread as well. Yep. This is sensational redfin fishing. Thank you, New Zealand. This is unbelievable. Off the bank, just a Berkeley drop shop minnow. And look at the size of these coming in. Bloody beautiful. Bloody 
really beautiful. Uh, should I keep a couple or not? I don't know. Single log, so easy to release. There's another one. Not sure how many it is now, but it's a fairly good number. Oh, straight on! Woohoo! Don't you love it? Oh my god, if you wanted to keep a feed, it'd only take you five minutes. I honestly don't think there's been a cast where I haven't at least had a strike and there's been very few where I haven't actually landed a fish. You get to a point where the expectation is extremely high. One or two flicks of the rod tip and bang, fish on. This is a good fish too. This is quite a good fish. This is a very, very good fish. Look at this. My God. One would think. And look at the colours on those red fin. They are beautiful reddies. Ah. Come on. Ah, 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 ah. Settle, settle, settle. There we go. Look at the size of that. Beautiful. If we, uh, what will we do? Will we take you home or two or three your size? Windy day. One single soft plastic. Haven't had to change it. Every single cast of fish. And some of them around the two pound mark even more. Fish that size would be going straight into the keep net. Straight into the keep net. Look at it. Okay, fella. Come on. Settle, 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 settle. Settle. Ah, 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 ah. That's it. That's it. Ah. Okay. So that's the lure. It uh, represents a, a baby perch of its same species. And redfin are renowned for that, for eating their own. So, uh, you're going too. Right, they're raking this uh, lure, so I'm going to have to re rig it probably. Probably the smallest fish of the day at the moment. Uh -uh. Settle, settle. You're going back, you're going back. It's all right, it's all right. It's all right. There you go. No wonder they uh, 
thrive in this lake with this amount of weed growth the food source would probably be tremendous I would think and uh, ow. Ow, ow, ow. don't do that especially when I'm trying to put you back yeah tremendous food growth tremendous food sources and I think that is what contributes to the uh, growth rate of these redfin. They are very good sized and very well conditioned reddies. Something that we crave for back home. Uh, like to see redfin that look that good out of uh, Lake Hume would be good. Instead of every second one being covered in epoxy virus. Okay, bloody good red fin, aren't they? There are some bloody rippers amongst them. This one's not huge, there's no doubt about that. But by gee, I've had my fair share of two pounders out of this session today. Um, and a lot of these ones would certainly fill it up beautifully. They would, uh, they would be very, very nice on the plate, a little red fin like that. Now look, that's where I've been parking the car. Fish are quite easy to find. I'm just going to try a bit of a uh, lure change here. Let's see what we've got here. Yeah. Something like that. Will probably do the trick nicely. Okay, much shorter, softy, which means they should be able to grab hold of that a lot easier. Rightio, let's see what happens with this. Bit of red and white. Usually pretty good colours for red pen. Let's see what happens. Oh yes. <laughs> Just when you thought it was safe to go back in the water. Red fin time. Red fin time again. Oh gee, this is a nice fish. Lovely fish. Okay. Heel haul you like the other ones, but uh, no landing nets and it's the way it is. Beautiful. Ah, 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 ah. Ah, ah. Come on. Come on. There we go. Another beautifully coloured red fin. Chunky across the back too. They're uh, they're in good condition. So they're very nice fish. Away you go. You generally tend to find that if they're there, whatever you put in front of them, they'll take. Lake Waihola. Put it on your to-do list, folks. If you're coming over to New Zealand and you happen to be in the South Island and you're Travelling Highway 1 towards Dunedin from uh, Belclutha or Invercargill. You'll uh, travel through this little town. Well worth a stop over if you like your redfin fishing. This lake too, by the way, holds uh, a fairly good um, population of brown trout as well. So it's, it's a bit of a mixed fishery. Here's another redfin. Come on, out of the rocks there, mate, out of the rocks. Uh, yeah, brown trout as well as, uh, as redfin perch, or perch as the locals call them over here. Look, they're not, they're not despised by the locals, but they're not prized either. We could probably say that uh, when you've got very good trout fishing, like they've got here, they're not particularly interested in reddies. 
uh, but some people don't eat them because of the bone factor but uh, when I did show some friends of mine how to fillet them boneless they uh, realized just how tasty they are as a table fish very very good table fish so uh, so maybe the uh, tide will turn sometime soon and uh, the local people will uh, start chasing them for what they are a very tasty table fish that you can put in the freezer for a few months bring them out and they still taste real good bigger beautiful beautiful coloring look at that have a look at that almost like those yellow perch that they get in uh, in the US beautifully colored fish yes gorgeous 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 fish on fish on pretty good fish too very good fish actually very nice you can always tell when they throw the heads around like that that they're a pretty good fish come on come on raise your head mate oh yeah beautiful 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 that is a superb red fin Yeah, that's a good fish. Well, a better fish. Not a great fish, but a better fish. Plenty of head shakes going on there. Come on, baby boy. Or girl, or whatever you are. Probably a girl. Gorgeous colours. Gorgeous colours. Look at that. I mean, gee whiz, that'd go in the... in the uh, keep net every time. Beautiful, beautiful red pen. And they're so olive, uh, you know, fantastic colours. Been invited out for tea tonight, so I'm going to have to get moving. So, uh, what a great session this has been. Lake Waihola. Put it on your to-do list, folks, when you come to the South Island of New Zealand. If you love your redfin fishing, you're going to love this place to death. Fantastic. And all you need is a few soft plastics and a few leadhead jigs, and you're on your way. By the way, they are very good eating out of this lake too. I've had them before in, in previous years. So don't worry about that, they are worth, if you want to take a couple for a feed, do so. Because I don't think their numbers are in any particular danger at this time. I am a happy camper here in the South Island of New Zealand. It doesn't get much better than this. Folks, thanks for watching Fish Talk video. This is the first of hopefully a series of videos here in the South Island of New Zealand and if the rest of it is going to be as good as this perch fishing I've had today well I'm in for a, an absolute treat so thanks for watching and uh, tight lines 
and make sure you hit the subscribe button and give us a like and a comment down the bottom and you'll get more from us in the near future. Bye bye. Thank you.